Outside there. Take care of the horses. A man can't hear himself thinking here. Where is that Turkish pig? He's ever dead. Well, go upstairs and get him. Tell him to hurry. I want to see him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He always talks to me like that. That's for the benefit of the other men. I was with his father before him. In fact, I saved his father's life once. There were lions. Mountain lions. Four of them. Was I afraid? <laughs> no. I just finished polishing my saber, not wishing to dirty it. I, I slapped slap them to death. death. Oh, you go! What a surprise! Oh, Tuck, we have some business with you. There are a lot of rolls of Damascus cloth and a few bales of gold tissue. Now, what about it? No, not so loud. So loud? What are you shaking about? You shake like a pot of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> you want to ruin me? Oh, oh he, was, he was ruined years ago. Yeah. Gentlemen, gentlemen! Gentlemen! Yeah. 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 Hey, quiet, quiet. <laughs> Chance there are two exalted ladies upstairs on their way to the maneuvers caught in a snowstorm. An imperial princess and a serene countess. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, come on, get back there. Come on back. I'll attend to that. Well, old oil pot, what did you give us for the lock? Where did you come by, old man? Oh, mule train from Turkestan. And why I'm so very good is to give you the first chance, I don't know. I'll give you a thousand rubles for the lock. What? Oh. 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 Cut your head off and throw it in your face. We shall wake up here when our throats cut. I feel it in my bones. Bones? Oh, I never suspect she had bones. What's that? I'm sure it's the tall one. Tall and strong? Oh, quite strong. Oh, these men of the great house doors. Petrovna, go downstairs and tell them to send the tall, strong one who sings up here. But I'm afraid of the princes of the big rough men. Go on, they won't harm you. Well, they did once. This is an adventure. You saw him from the window. What did he look like? Sweet, sweet. A little like a bear and a little like a wolf. Oh, oh come on, let's get out of here. No, 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 no. Twenty-two hundred. What? No, never. Get out. Twenty-four hundred and I'm choking. Thirty-two hundred and nothing. Three thousand and I'm dying. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no.
That and my very amiable nature. You don't look too amiable. But I am. Who are you? My name is Yegor, son of Prince Yegor, chief of the Kaishar Mountain tribesmen. Are you all thieves? Thieves. Kaisha means robbing locks. And when the robbing locks rob, they sometimes repay with a song. How generous of you. Yes, I've heard of you singing bandits. You see, my dear young lady, we're probably different from any of the bandits you've ever met before. I've met so few bandits. Ah, uh, well, most of them are trash. But you're well born, you understand these distinctions. Now, do you know what Yegor, Yegor is my name, do you know what Yegor means? No. It means son of a hundred kings. A hundred kings? And did they all sing? They did, even when they were killed. Were they all killed? Of course. No good man dies in bed. <laughs> Help yourself to some wine. Thank you. And uh, sing us a song. Yes, that song. That song? Oh, no. I sing my own song. Songs that come out of my heart and through my mouth. I make them up as I go along to uh, suit any fairly charming occasion. <laughs> Keep quiet down there. I'll cut your tongues out. You see how they mind me, don't you? <laughs> Rhyming is a simple trade with uh, such an inspiration. Love comes like a bird on the wing. Love dies like a breeze in spring. Love My purse. I want no pay. All I want is that young lady's hat. My hat? Well, what do you want with my hat? Oh, I want it for a purpose, and I like the funny little feather on it. It's not <laughs> a funny little feather. And anyway, you can't have it. Tatiana, I'm going to bed. And if you take my advice, you'll go too and send this gifted bandit on his merry singing way. <laughs> How horrid of her. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no. No, I, I'd give you anything you ask. Yes. Are you really a bandit? Yes, really a bandit. Honest? As honest as most. I've always wanted to be a real thief. Why, do you want something stolen? <laughs> <laughs> How delicious! You are looking at my pearls. Take them if you like. I have boxes of them. What are pearls compared to a moment in life when one isn't bored? I'm always bored. Thank you, and good night. Good night? Yes. Good night. Anushka! Anushka! Send for that fat pig of a landlord. Bless <laughs> 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 me, 
Let's go. Let's be... Answer that. Yes. You go on ahead. I'll follow later. Yes, sir. Go. And you two stay here. This village is far away. In some defile, even I myself don't know where it is. You can lose yourself in these mountains. Then you think it a better plan to wait until the thief tries to dispose of the pearls at the thieves' market? Aye, much the best. You connect the thieves' market with Cossacks. I will be there as you command, driving about in my carriage as I always do. The moment you see this, Yegor, give the captain of the Cossacks a signal so he will know his man. So you plan to hang him? Yes, I plan to hang him. He stole my pearls. But, Excellency, he says you gave them to him. It's a lie. He stole my pearls. Close that door. Well, it serves you right. Close it from the outside. Watch me. What do you want? I... I, uh... I came for that hat you were wearing. Why do you want my hat? I... I, I know someone who, uh... who I think would like a hat with the funny little feather on it. Take it. Good night, little white dove. Sleep well in your nest. I suggest something? What? Why don't you get on the barrel, then get onto the horse? Thank you. You're welcome. At last you have shown some intelligence.
like to go down to the thieves' market and dance on St. Lanka's Day. <laughs> you were even dancing there when Father stole you from that Turkish caravan. Oh, <laughs> never mind that. That was before your time. Mm. <laughs> I was talking about Nadia. Before that night, she was as happy as a bird. Since then, she hasn't smiled or slept or eaten. Oh, she needs me to cheer her up. And wait till she sees this hat. Oh. Oh. What's the matter? Oh, you go. I didn't know who you were. Boy, well, what's the matter with you? You're trembling. I'm not trembling. You... You frightened me. <laughs> Look what I brought you. I brought you a hat. What's the matter? It's a hat that I brought for you from a Russian prince's daughter. Take it away. I don't want a hat to belong to a Russian princess. They're no good, any of them. Well, what do you know about a Russian princess? You've never even seen one. Ooh, take it away. Look here. I know what's wrong with you. You're in love. Confess. In love? Mm-hmm. No. In hate. What? Nadja. What did you say? Nothing. Nothing. Here, in a few days, I'm going to the thieves' market, and I'm going to buy you one of those, uh, oh, you know, one of those uh, night dresses, you know, that are cut down like this, and, oh, and that have lace hanging all over them, and, oh, and, oh, it comes all the way from Paris and costs a lot. Would you like it? Oh, that's better. Now you're like my old Nadja. <laughs> Not yet, most excellent high-born captain. Perhaps a few jabs with this would have some matters. You already hang three that I pointed out. A little patience. You shall have them all. I'm not interested in his followers. As this Yegor we want. The governor is getting impatient. <laughs> Stay here and take care of these horses. Come on. Oh, isn't 
there anybody else who knows Yegor besides his study? No one we know. Be ready. with your wobbling. Now, keep your ears to yourselves and go on with that kind of walling. <laughs> so there's something about me, huh? Well, I'm listening. Be careful. If they catch you, they'll hang you for stealing the Countess Pearl. Oh, I didn't steal the Countess Pearl. She gave them to me. I know she did. The Cossacks are everywhere watching this place. I can't tell you. You came here to tell me this? Why? 
Well, I... Don't turn in the mountain near to give the signal when he sees you. Why did you come here to tell me this? It's unjust to hang a man for something he didn't do. That's not the usual reasoning of an aristocrat. Up those stairs is a room. Now go up there and wait for me. No one will disturb you. Oh, I can't. On. Petrovna will be frightened. Oh, never mind, Petrovna. Go on up there. No, I have no. some business to attend to, and I'll be right back. Well, oh, please, please. All right. For a minute. Promise. I promise. What's your business? Oh, uh, 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 catching, please. Catching, please. Now go on up. Hassan. Hassan, stay there. Come. Say, whose horses are these? I don't know. You know, eh? Who is that fellow? Never saw him before in my life. You didn't, eh? Is that? What horse? That horse. Say, who are you with? Who, me? Yes, you. I'm with him. Thank you. <laughs> You stay right here. You two. Men! Arrest those men! the liver of Lucifer. I've never seen anything as beautiful as you. It was nice of me to wait, I think. I've been to Samarkand and as far as Moscow even, and I've never seen anything as lovely as you. Yes, there is something about you. But I must be going now, and you must be getting out of danger. Oh, sit down. By the be 11,000 virgins of Baghdad. I'm in danger now, and I like it. Tell me, are there robbing lark ladies, too? Women? Oh, yes, plenty of them. But we keep them in a village in the hills where they belong. Oh. <laughs> so your sweetheart will be getting anxious. Sweetheart? Oh! <laughs> I have no sweetheart. <laughs> oh, no? No, of course, I could have any number of them. Of but, uh, well, once in a while, for relaxation, I, uh, uh, well, well, you see, for a leader of men, women are bad business. They're like trouble. They make a good man better and a bad man worse. <laughs> You're perfectly contented with yourself, aren't you? Perfectly. Well, I feel a little sorry for the robbing lost ladies. Now, look here. I'm going to tell you something. Until today, I only allowed two women in my house. Oh, you have two women in your house? <laughs> yes. My mother and my sister. <laughs> your mother and your sister. Tell me, how old is your sister? Oh, about as old as you, and as like you as a pair of beads in a string. Except you're fair and she's dark. I love her very much. How I could love you. How I could love you. You have no lover yet, have you? I may have. 
wouldn't have if I knew where he was. Ha-ha! <laughs> I don't believe it. Sit down. I've made up a song about you. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Because after today, I'll never see you again. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. Now, listen. In your heart, my sweet white dove, let me build my only throne in the kingdom of your love. Tell me I shall reign alone in the
Just a moment. What is that? on this body.
mother. What has happened? Where is Nadja? It was your sister that brought the shame. Nadia, little sister, little sister, it's your God. Nadia, open your eyes and look at me. I loved you more than anything on earth. I was so proud of you. Nadja. Nadja. Who brought shame to you? Tell me, Nadja. Tell me his name. Why, Nadja. Nadja. I brought that little dress that I promised you. Remember? Nadja. Tell me his name. Tell me his name, Nadja. Sergei. Never mind. I'll find him. Wait, wait, I have it. This countess that we met in the old Turk's Inn, she's giving a big ball tonight. I heard it in the town. Oh, the one that gave the pearls to Yegor? Yes. And if she gives a big ball, this Sergei is bound to be there. All right, that's where we're going. Doesn't make any difference where he is. I'll find him. Come on. <laughs> Camille's not roses and tell the gardener to arrange another bouquet. Allez, allez, allez vite! Apparently, you enter rooms as easily as you leave them. So, they haven't hanged you yet? No, 
Not yet. Well, there is still time. What did you come for? Also to, uh, to sing you a, a little song. <laughs> a song I made up about you. I can't hear it now. My guests are waiting. Afterwards, perhaps. There will be no afterwards. Hmm? I'll be hanged. <laughs> That's so. I'd forgotten. I think your guests would be amused by my singing. Ooh, I've sent to Moscow for a ballet to amuse my guests. They would listen to you. Uh, how does your song go? It begins like this. Your eyes are like flames that burn my soul. How interesting. delicious it is not to be bored. I think I said that to you once before, and you laughed and returned to your filthy little village. Yes, you may take your place with the other clowns and uh, sing for my guests. And then afterwards, to me, alone, here, 